Hi guys, welcome to Roots Online. Oh yes. We're excited. We're very excited. We're yeah. always excited. Always. What? Always. Come what? on. Come on. Yep. Hopefully yeah. this will be one of our last Roots Online. Yeah. Because yeah. we'll be able to see you again. <sighs> mm -hmm. Just waiting for that day. Yeah. But anyway, for now we've got another Roots Online. So make sure you've got your Bibles, your notepads, all that stuff. It is just again a lot of us chatting. But yeah. You might get some out of it. I hope you get some out of it. Hopefully. Um, so today's title is Recalculating. So, again, you always know I've got a bit of a random... I pull things out of weird places and I make a thing. Yeah. So, bear with me. Um, so today we're going to be talking about like sat-navs and how they direct us. Mm -hmm. And we're going to link that to God. So I was just thinking yesterday of um, what we could bring for Roots. And I had a few little ideas, but nothing sort of pieced together. Mm -hmm. And I think I was watching a TV program. I can't remember what it was, and I can't remember oh. where it came from, but yeah. like, everything just sort of came from that. I honestly I can't even remember what it was. So that's how important it was, but yeah. I got the message from it, so that's yeah. all that matters. <laughs> um, but yeah, how basically, Nowadays, we have sat-navs, we're very lucky, so if we're going somewhere, we know mm -hmm. that we can type it in our sat-nav yeah. and we can get there quite quickly, quite easily, mm. and it just takes us where we need to go, and they're so helpful. I rely on my sat-nav. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> um, but I just think it's the same sort of thing like with God, so obviously when you're driving, you know the final destination which you want to end up at, but yeah. you don't always know how to get there, so sometimes we can be like, okay, I'm going to travel to Give me somewhere. Uh, Leicester. Leicester. I've never traveled to Leicester before, but I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to Leicester, so that's where I'm going. Yeah. And you start driving, and you're just like, yeah, okay. So you follow the sat nav. You're acting out of me, following yeah. the sat nav, but you're like, do you know what? I don't actually trust it at this point, so I'm gonna go off course, and I'm gonna go my way because I think I know better. And then what happens? You get lost. You get lost. Um, <laughs> So if you have a sat nav, it will be like recalculating or make a U-turn at the next roundabout. And that's sometimes what we have to do. We have to take a U make a U-turn or turn around or work our way back to the route that God had, or the sat nav, yeah. had initially um, <laughs> set before us. Yeah. So in our stubbornness, I guess, yeah. sometimes the way ahead can be laid out for us, but we're like, now nah, I know better, so I'm just going to do it my way. But it always works back that you've got to end up on the same route that you were heading on anyway. Mm -hmm. And I just think that's the same with God. So we know our final destination with God is obviously, sometimes it can be, you know, that God's given you a dream or a vision and that's the, fight, that's the destination that you're heading for. Sometimes it can be just our ultimate destination that we're going to end up with him one day in heaven. Mm -hmm. So we have that picture, we know where we're going, but we don't know how we're oh. going to get there. Mm -hmm. And God does this amazing thing that he doesn't show us the final plan. No. He literally shows us at the next turn whether we should go this way or this way. He never yeah. gives us the whole thing like, okay, at this point in your life, you're going to make this decision. And then when you're this stage, you're going to make this decision. <laughs> and then all that, it's like, yeah. no, when you get to this point, then I'll tell you at that point where you need to go. Yeah. Which is the same as the sat yeah. Um But yeah, there's a scripture in Proverbs that sums it all up. So do you want to... Yes. Read that for us. Yes, I do. Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3, verses 5, five and six. 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Yeah. So trust is a massive part of this. We mm -hmm. have to put all our trust in God for him yeah. to direct our paths. Mm. And that can be quite scary sometimes because you can have a lot that, well, a lot going on that you've got to put all your trust in God, but you're like, God, if I put my trust in you in this point, mm -hmm. what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. And that can be a really scary thing for us all to do. It can be a yeah. scary step. It might be something to do in school, like you've got to put your trust in God for something happening at school or something at home, mm -hmm. socially, socially, I don't know. Mm. It might be all different types of things for you guys at the moment. Mm. But having to put your trust in God, that his plan and his direction is the best one for you. Yeah. And we could be in our humanness stubborn and think, well actually no, I think I can do it this way. Yeah. So we'll go off course, but we can guarantee it's gonna loop back round and yeah. get us back to the point that he wanted us to be. Yeah. And I'm just reminded of the story of Jonah in that, that Jonah thought he had the command from God, like God told him what he needed to do. 
But Jane was like, nah, nah I'll do it that. my way. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah. Um, so he goes completely off track just for three days later to have to come back to the position that God had intended him to be. Yeah. Um, and it just like shows it like mm. in a bigger picture that no matter what our plans are, God yeah. has the ultimate plan yes. and he knows yes. whether we need to turn left or right or yeah. what path we need to take. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like um, one thing that's really important as well with uh, following his direction is that more more so more times he's directing you somewhere else for someone else yeah so a, a lot of us we get a little bit i get like this maybe where i'm just so focused on my journey with god i'm just like oh where am i going god where's my vision why why aren't i supposed to be where you're saying i'm supposed to be but he's like during your journey i have all these destinations all these checkpoints all these places i've put in front of you which are actually for my people and we have to get our own way of thinking uh, that you know we're just going to one direction and that's it like wow, one direction but, <laughs> but to actually think no there's someone who needs whatever it is that God's put inside of us and it's the same with myself uh, coming to this church and realizing oh wow I need whatever is here or I need what God's doing here that I, I wouldn't have thought about. My destination was always the same one. Oh, I'm sticking where I am, that's it. Mm. Going where I am and yeah. God's like, no, I'm just gonna, just gonna divert you. Yeah. <laughs> like, and you don't know how long you're diverted for and that's hard to take sometimes. Is, we don't yeah. like waiting. No. But if you just trust him, like the verse says, if you trust in God, no matter how long you're waiting, that wait, there's something he wants to do in there. And Moses had to go into the wilderness. He was in there, but God was still working through him. So you don't know how long you're gonna be where you are, but just trust in him. And he's gonna say, all right, now let's go. Or now let's do this or whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. I really love that. Yeah, so even though it is all my crazy sat nav brain. Yeah. I don't know if it made, made much sense when I said it, but. No, it does. It makes, perfect sense. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. I mean, sat navs can't really tell you about a person, but it's the same thing. Like mm -hmm. sat navs are, are taking you somewhere and yeah. God is always taking us somewhere. He's yeah. never doing it for no reason. No. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Love it.